asking a good question on circles here. Now, when you get these sorts of questions, you've always got to, I mean, I know we're not asked to find the radius or anything, but you've always got to try and use the radius somehow. So because we're told that we've got the centers at the midpoints, the first thing to do is to connect these two here, because this is going to create a triangle with a hypotenuse, a right angle triangle I should add, the hypotenuse is two of the radii. And we're told that the square is four centimeters. So actually we've got the height and the base of the triangle. So two squared plus two squared square rooted using Pythagoras' theorem is gonna be root eight, which we can write as root four times root two or two root two. And that means the radius of a circle is going to be root two. Okay, that's step one. Step two then, actually, I'm going to draw in some of the other diagonals. So I could have drawn a one from here to here. And then I can even connect it there. This helps sort of start seeing how we might be able to calculate this shaded area. Because one thing I've not yet drawn is the center of the square. And there's symmetry going on here. So if we just focus on basically um, this bit here. Oops, so from the center, connect these. If we can work out the shaded area let's say i'm going to focus on the top one actually because i've already written quite a lot down here if i can just find this area then i can times it by four and actually we can find that area because we've got a square smaller square now and it's the radius of the circle so it's root two times root two so the area of the square is going to be two and then we've also got a semi uh, sorry a quarter circle okay this is 90 degrees necessarily and so we just need to find out this purple area and subtract it. So, we've, sorry, we've got like the whole green green area, let's say, and the purple area, I'm going to subtract it, which is just leave me this area here. So it's going to be 2 minus, well, it's going to be pi r squared, so pi times root 2 squared, but we're going to divide through by 4. Um, and we're still we're just working on this, just this part. So I'm going to have to times three by four in a minute. So this is going to equal two minus, or when I square root two, I get two. So it's going to actually be pi over two. So it's two pi over four, pi over two. And then finally, multiply through by four. And that's going to give our answer eight minus two pi. Nicely done.